Okay, so in this next question, we are told that an open box of maximum volume is to be made from a square piece of material 24 centimeters on a side by cutting equal squares from the corners and turning up the sides. And we're given a figure to kind of illustrate what that means. And it says, if the volume V is a function of X, write the function and determine its domain. So they want us to write the volume as a function of X. Well, we know that the volume is the length times the width times the height. My height I'm going to define as this side length here which is just x. My length is going to be this side length here which is 24 minus 2x because of this uh, diagram here. It says that the side length is going to be 24 minus 2x because uh, because this side length x and this side length x will be cut out so it's going to be 24 minus 2x. And then my width is going to be this side length. But since it's a square, it's also going to be 24 minus 2x. So I can simplify that into x times x times 24 minus 2x squared. And that's v of x. And my only requirement here is that the volume has to be greater than zero. You can't have a vessel that has a volume that has a zero or less. You can't have a volume of zero meters cubed or uh, zero or negative five meters cubed or something like that. It's not physically possible. So I'm going to write zero equals x times 24 minus 2x squared. Now, if you see here, we have x multiplied by some term, and we just want this whole thing equal to 0. So I can say x equals 0, because if I have x equals 0, I have 0 minus 24 squared, which it will ultimately be 0. And then also, I can take this whole term right here, this 24 minus 2x, and I can set that equal to 0 and find what x will be, because then if this whole thing is 0, that times whatever x is will also be 0. So I'm going to do 24 minus 2x squared equals 0. I'm going to take the square root to undo the square. 24 minus 2x is uh, 24 minus 2x is what we're left with. And then the square root of 0 is just 0. Subtract by 24 on both sides. And then we have negative 2x equals negative 24. Divide by negative 2 on both sides to get x alone. I have x equals 12. And I don't think they give us, oh, okay, they give us centimeters. So x has to be between 0 and 12 centimeters, basically. Because if it's, if it's if x is 0 centimeters and the volume is 0 and that doesn't make sense, that's not possible. And if x is 12 centimeters then the volume is also 0 and that wouldn't make sense either. So okay, so in this next, next question, question we're told, told that, that a company, company produces, produces a product for which the variable, variable cost is 12.30 per unit, unit and the fixed, fixed costs are $98,000. The product sells for $17.98. Let, Let x be the number of units produced and sold. sold. And in the, the first, first part, part of the question, we're told that the total cost for a business is the sum of the variable cost and the fixed cost. And we're asked to write the total cost C as a function of the number of units produced. So I'm going to do C of X, because X is the number of units produced. C of X is going to be the total cost, uh, or it's going to be the variable cost plus the fixed cost. So the variable cost is going to be 12.3 X. And the, the reason, reason it's x is because, because it depends. It's a variable cost. It depends on how many units are sold. So, so it's going to be 12.3x plus 98,000. And then that's going to be your answer for, for part A. And, and then for, for part, part B, it says write the revenue as a function of the number of units sold. And the revenue is just purely the amount of money they're going to be making. So that's, that's going to be R of x equals 17.98x.
and that's, that's just because, because we're, we're only focusing on how much money we're making. We're not looking at any of the costs. We're just looking at the revenue. So then it says write the profit as a function of the number of units sold. So what you need to remember here is that P equals R minus C. Profit equals revenue minus cost. So I'm going to do uh, P of X. P of X equals revenue, 17.98X. Minus C, which is going to be uh, 12.3x plus 98,000x, and I'm just going to put that all in parentheses. And then I'm actually going to distribute this negative sign to both the 12.3x and 98,000 to get 17.98x, which I'll just subtract 12.3x all in one step. 17.98 minus 12.3 is going to be 5.68x. 5.68x minus 98,000. So there you go. That's going to be your profit function. That's the profit P of the function of the unit sold.